Hello fellow plastic throwers, this is Fulcrum and in today's airsoft review we're going to be taking a look at the WE Glock 18 Gen 4 airsoft gas blowback machine pistol. So let's head over to the bench and have a closer look. This gun is a mixture of polymer and metal, you have a polymer grip and a metal slide and it feels really nice and solid. This gun weighs 0.5 kilograms which is exactly a pound. If we then add a mag to the mix it becomes 1.6 pounds which is 0.7 kilograms. This gun is around 19 centimeters, which is around 17 and a half inches. This gun definitely has a nice feel to it. It's nice and solid. I like the metal slide. It really feels really robust and well made. On the base of the gun, you have a lanyard hole, so you can put your pistol lanyard through to hopefully not lose it. The magazines go in and lock in firmly, and you have a magazine release on the side. This gun is single action only, so you have to cock it for it to fire. You have your slide release here, which will lock it once you fire the last shot. And being a Glock 18 machine pistol, you have a full auto capability. This is your selector switch on semi-automatic and on fully automatic. Iron sights are your typical Glock sights with your front dot and rear notch. I quite like them. I haven't really got any problem with Glock sights. You have your pistol weaver rail on the front, so if you want to put on a tack light, a laser or a grenade launcher or something silly like that, you can. Now you do have a small safety here. If you slide this piece of metal backwards, the trigger is locked. Although sliding it backwards is a bit of a pain. You need to have some fingernails to do it. The stock muzzle on this gun allows you to put in one of those WE suppressor adapters, however this has got a Hadron TDC kit in, so we won't be able to put a suppressor on this. To field strip this gun you want to pull down this button on either side, and then you want to rack the slide back and then release it, like so. Inside this gun we have a maple leaf hop chamber and a maple leaf type ball, just a standard type ball, not a crazy jet. Now for this hop chamber and the stock one, your hop wheel would normally go there, however like the Mark 23 we have a Hadron TDC kit in. Again, these things are amazing. They allow you to lift some stupidly heavy rounds in your pistol. Now, the stock hop unit of this wasn't great. WE hop units are very hit and miss, and this one was not great at all. It wasn't consistent at all, so that's why we stuck in the Hadron TDC kit, and that seems to have fixed the issues. To reinstall the slide, you just got to line it up on its rails and rack it back, and it's in place. For the chrono test, we're going to use 4 Freeze and Nuke Pro Green Gas. And those are our five shots. Now 200 FPS on four threes is around about 300 FPS on twos and it is a bit cold in here. It's probably a bit colder than what I'd be using green gas for. All right, we might as well give this a burst of full auto. Don't expect much because this suffers from quite bad cooldown. See, <laughs> told ya. Still got about four shots left in the mag. Now the full auto function is not great on this gun. It definitely prefers black gas when you're using it on full auto and it becomes incredibly inaccurate, which I suppose is realistic for a Glock 18 machine pistol. But it's got a nice kick and on semi-automatic it works really well. And with the Hadron TDC kit in it allows us to lift some pretty hefty weights. This will fire a 4 free out to around 80 meters on black gas, which is absurd. You don't really need that much range with your sidearm, but it allows you to chuck this in the carbine kit and have an awesome little carbine. I wish the full auto would work a bit better. I would say this is part and parcel for gas guns, however my Mac 11 doesn't seem to struggle when it works, when you can get the right gas in it. It will fire a burst of full auto completely fine, and it will be relatively accurate. This tends to suffer from the BBs rolling out of the barrel on full auto syndrome, which is kind of annoying. But using this as a semi-automatic pistol, it works really well. You can get parts for it easily. It's really well made. It's got a nice kick to it. And it sounds nice and beefy. It's got a nice bang to it when you fire it, which is the most important thing with a gas blowback pistol. Now, would I recommend the WE Glock 18C Gen 4 Airsoft Gas Blowback Machine Pistol? Well, if you're willing to deal with the potential iffy hop unit which you get with WE gas blowbacks, then yeah, I would recommend it. It's great value for money aside from the hop unit. WE pistols aren't that expensive, they're easy to get parts for, and they're very well built. They're nice and solid, they have a nice amount of metal in them, unlike some TMs. They feel nice and solid, they've got a nice kick to them, and they're a decent price, but you just have to accept the fact you might have a bit of an iffy hop unit. Something like this, though, you can get parts for it nice and easily. It's entirely up to you, obviously. The iffy hop unit has not stopped me and my dad from buying gas blowback pistols from WE. We, we just accept the fact that we might have to do a bit of work to get the thing to shoot straight. And with that Hadron TDC kit in, 80 meters with a 4 free, that's not bad for a pistol. So that's it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful at any point, then make sure you leave a like. And if you have any questions about this gun, then please make sure you leave them down in the comments. And if you don't want to miss out on any new content, then make sure you subscribe and enable notifications from this channel. And as always, guys, play fair, play safe, take care.